The Substrate Builders Program is an initiative by Parity Technologies, the creators of Polkadot, founded by Dr. Gavin Wood, to help the most productive decentralized projects get set up for success in the fastest way possible. And your friends at Kylan Network just joined the bunch. In short, this first milestone is a huge leap for the Kylan Network and our community, as it represents Parity Technology publicly recognizing us as a serious project with actual code that works. Now, before I dive into the techie bits of what exactly this means, here's a bit of background on what exactly this program is. Blockchain as an industry is still very new, and this is even more true of the Polkadot ecosystem, which has been under construction for the last four years, as they've been preparing the network to support parachain projects like Kylin and many more. Needless to say, there is no one on the planet who understands the Substrate framework and Polkadot's infrastructure better than the team at Parity who envisioned, designed, and built it. So being accepted into the Substrate Builders program gives our dev team ongoing personalized access to the Parity team on a weekly basis. And exposure will surely help accelerate the innovation of our decentralized data economy. With the support of the Parity team, we're stoked for a successful launch after Parachain auctions are completed. By the way, if you enjoy learning about data, blockchain, or cryptocurrency, then a like or subscribe would mean the world to us. We'll be making more videos like this every week, talking about the technical side of our favorite projects. Now, this brings us to well, back to the point of the Substrate Builders Program. Finishing this first milestone puts Kylan Network amongst other top Polkadot ecosystem projects, such as LittonTree and Manta Network, both of which actually have also finished a requirement and are part of the same graduating class of Q3 earlier this year. Now, imagine Stephen Hawking, may he rest in peace, launched a theoretical physics program where he personally made sure you weren't messing up your equations. <laughs> to lay some more validation on how big of a deal this is, check out our CEO Sam's words on this innovation. From Mr. Sam Elamine himself, he says, we are extremely delighted about passing our milestone. It's a culmination of months of hard work of everyone involved. We now refocus on building out the querying side of the data warehouse alongside the launch of the first DDMO. At the same time, we will be working quite heavily on integrations with our many partners. Watch this space. Now, to be clear, <laughs> they don't just let any random coin inside of this program. There are several objective requirements in order to be considered. The details do get a bit geeky. Describing them each in detail would be far outside of the scope of this video. So I'll go through each item quickly and then provide more detail about each in a separate videos. So at first, we had to set up a functioning parachain collator. You can actually set one up too. We left the instructions on GitHub for anyone to use. Next, we had to prove the ability to retrieve price data using Polkadot's off-chain worker technology, or OCW for short. These data requests had to include timestamp, currency pair, return confirmation, and get stored on chain. And of course, we have this proof on our GitHub. Now, in case something is off, there needs to be a failure response system of sorts before deployment. And this is where we must provide complete documentation on how to launch the parachain from scratch, which means with clean code. We did that. And if you want to take the time, the links on our GitHub I'll drop those links in the bottom of this uh, video so that way anybody can access it. Now, once our docs were approved, we were ready to deploy on Rococo. Now, Rococo is a name that you may have heard in passing in the industry. For those of you who are fresh, this is the public test net built by Parity Labs to help developers deploy new applications more efficiently. At this stage, we added XCMP functionality. That stands for cross-chain messaging platform function to allow smart contracts to request data from external parachains. Then Sam went further 
and used XCMP to execute a program for the first time on Polkadot across parachains. This is super cool. I can't understate it enough, but it gets far into the weeds of Nerdland and will certainly be a separate series of videos going over the details of XCMP and what it can be used for. Essentially, it's uh, like a multilingual translator that's able to effortlessly communicate across any parachain. It's also the secret that allows for the vision of Polkadot to become the Internet of Blockchains possible. So with messages being sent successfully, we reach the final steps before full deployment, and that is to create a queuing system that can organize the process responses to each parachain. This is a functional improvement that protects the application from attack or error. You see, in the case of an unforeseen circumstance, perhaps a bug, perhaps a hack, even if there's just another issue, requests can still get returned in the same sequence. And once all of this gets accomplished, we reach the final step, which was to do a live test on Rococo with a live partner. This is completed with Aster, formerly known as Plasm, back in Q3. They're another Polkadot ecosystem project that is building a DAP hub to support Ethereum projects, staking, WebAssembly, DAP staking, Layer 2 solutions, and so much more. In recognition of completing these steps, Parity Labs has officially introduced us into the Substrate Builders program, where we can now receive even more support in building the best possible decentralized data parachain network for the entire Polkadot community at large. By connecting with Aster, we've proven how soon any Ethereum-based project, as well as Layer 2s, will be able to further monetize their network data by using Polkadot ecosystem solutions such as Kylin. Things are heating up as we all get closer to parachain launch season. We're excited to see the transformation happening both internally and across the more than 50 other partners that we already have officially announced working with. Each small step takes our entire ecosystem closer to mass adoption. Everybody, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get the most immediate updates from us here at the Kylin Network. I'm Andy, and until next time, bye for now, my friends. Thank you.